There we go. People are always saying, how come you're welding without a helmet? Because I've done it all my life. I've been afforded the opportunity to see a lot of construction traveling the world. I worked in Russia for quite a long time, Africa, the northern continent up in Hudson Bay, the Philippines, Southeast Asia, up close to Mongolia. It's all the girts and the yurts. I think it made a huge influence in the way I look at housing. And that's when I started working on yurts. So we built mountain wind yurts for about five years out of steel structure, and they're very cozy. But the problem with a yurt is they're round. Everything in this world is built square. This and the Crux House led me into Arch Cabin some 15 to 20 years ago. Arch Cabins is a modified Crux House. The Crux House was originally built in England back in the medieval ages. And what they would do would find trees that were leaning over a river and they formed a half of an arch. And they would cut the tree right down the center, open it up into an arch. When you put a high arch one against the other, they're pressing against one another, all that force translates down into the foundation. And so when I was studying architecture, I saw the Crooks house and I said, that's totally brilliant. You know what, I think I can do this in steel. I knew it could be done, but I had to design all the machinery to do it. Nobody had any machinery anywhere close that would roll a member of what we call a rib to the house and conform it and rigidize it. So I went out in the shop and I designed what we call generation one roll machine. It did a good job, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do exactly. So we built the second machine, generation two roll machine. Better, but still not quite like I wanted. And then one winter, I built Generation 3 machine, which was a hydraulic driven machine. I painted this machine gold. My wife and children asked me, why in the world would you paint this thing gold? Why didn't it black or industrial color? I said, so, well, this is a machine that laid the golden egg right here. This machine is perfect. And so we went into production with that machine. We rolled our first ribs, and then we, we had to strain gauge and stress load those members. That's where we came up with 2.56 times stronger than a standard piece of steel. Our houses have been known to be in hurricanes with 150 plus mile an hour winds, where they're in a neighborhood where there's no neighborhood left, and the arch cabin is sitting out there by itself. Heavy snow loads, 100, 120 pound snow loads, no problem. Our stress loads are calculated to three to four times catastrophic failure. So there's a huge safety margin in the houses that's built in on the engineering spectrum. Now the secret is, it's rolled on five different axes. And so it actually has a concave inner side to it that stiffens the member. This is a secret sauce of the arch cabins. We can roll form a house that is extremely strong and durable. And we typically match this up with either a concrete foundation or a steel foundation. So we've got steel or concrete under, we've got steel overhead. We're talking about a house that's gonna be here for 150 years. We're talking about a four or five generation house. That's the vision we have, build long-term, durable, inexpensive houses for the masses. We went into NASA probably six or seven years ago and I met with 200 NASA engineers. They said, this is so simple, but yet so effective and so into the future, we can see this taking over the housing market. 15 years ago, we had a lady in an artist community come to us. She said, you know, I need a number of these so my artists can have their own studios. I stepped out on blind faith and said, we can build these for you. Those are the first three structures that we commercially built. The more we built, the more requests we had. Before I know, we're building 40, 50, 60, 70 houses. Last year, we built 176 houses and shipped them all over the United States. And this year, I think we're looking to double to triple that. Now as Arch Cabins moves further into the future, what we are seeing is Arch Cabins communities. We're seeing places where they're building multiples and multiples of Arch Cabins. They have Arch Cabins community centers where they have gatherings and meals. Some of these communities are gonna be as strong as a 100 house community. So all these people will work, play, and be centered around Arch Cabins. We have some of these communities that are special need communities. Battered wives, abused children, the soldiers that come home and interject themselves back into society. That's one of our passions and our goals, to help build communities that help other people. As an arch cabin owner, we all have a common tie. 
We all had a common tie to do something that was better than it was available anywhere else in the world at the time. We all live in a house that looks similar in shape on the outside, but the inside exactly reflects who we are and who we want to be and how we want to live. Arch Cabins is people and providing a cost efficient means of housing that will serve the masses. Arch Cabins, better by design.